Welcome back to the rest of the story. We got a little load of bales here. It's not that big, not that heavy. Only, what, 250 or so? 260? But that doesn't include the straw we got in the back of the truck. The straw we got in the back of my truck. This was all bailed up at my friend's place. Say we did a bit of a barter thing, and um, this is our end of it. We need uh, bedding for those bottle calves we'll be raising this winter, assuming we're raising bottle calves this winter. And we tried corn fodder, didn't work. We weren't happy with it, too much dust, calves breathing in it. Didn't do that great as far as keeping them warm. They were wet and muddy all, or manure all the time. And That's why you just go back to what works for you. So hopefully 300 or so bales of straw bales will take care of us. You say I'm, I'm not raising any more calves throughout the summer. I do have to do a bottle calf series video of the ones we weaned off. I did take out four and they've been out for about a week. So I got three in the barn yet. Fun fact for those of you that are coming to the farm day, if any of you are coming to the farm day, the three calves that I'm currently feeding yet are going to be, well, one or two of the calves I'm still currently feeding, I'm going to have out, tied up out for the farm day so you guys can pet. Pet one of the calves, you can see some of the uh, one or two of the calves that we've been feeding. I say it, I thought about going and buying one or two, but by the time I got it here, and no, I actually have to clean up the barn right, the barn where I'd be, I would put them. By the time I did that, bought them, got them going, worked them through any issues they may potentially have had, I'd have to, I would have had to go and buy them today at the latest because the sale was this yeah the sale was today and you know what I got three of those last calves that I just bought those they were the youngest ones I have I got one that's kind of a little smaller than the other two and I'd I imagine I'll probably at least have him out what is that Colt rockier and rockier and Colt I guess I guess I kind of named them I don't do it too often. Normally I just stick with Junior. But this is what we got loaded. We underestimated how much we could haul. Because we thought we could just just do it with the flatbed. And we actually got... It took three hay, hay wagons. Because they just... Watch how farms work. I believe Ryan has video of the process. I'm just the, this is what we did guy. But um, we backed it in tonight. We're going to unload it first thing in the morning. We did get a little lopsided here. You can see the the front bales kind of hang out right here, but we got it strapped down tight enough that they weren't going anywhere. I mean, we what was it? I can't remember how far it is to Ryan's place. Like nine. Let's just say eleven or twelve miles to Ryan's place, and I drove twenty-five miles an hour the whole way home. I didn't go over twenty-five. But she's she's definitely tall, and we had to stack it in every everywhere we could. But I'm happy to have straw bales again. Very happy. So, I don't know how all you guys have been. It's, I'm enjoying the weather. All of us are, Ryan and Dad. So we got the 46 out there. We got to unhook that. We actually had to pull that out to, to uh, back these in. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's say we're ramping up for the farm day as far as getting things put together and organized and we're making phone calls and organizing some things and trying to get stuff kind of planned out 
but it'll all come down to like a last minute panic kind of deal right before the right before the farm day so the closer we get to it i'm sure we'll probably end up doing i'll i know ryan will be filming something um i actually believe he's trying to get something set up he's got a photographer well we both know her that we're gonna see if she can come and walk around with the camera and maybe do take some pictures for people or maybe get pictures of Ryan with with people. So we're sure that Ryan's gonna be the big draw for it. We're really not expecting many people to really want to sit and really talk or do much with me and Dad. So we may be tearing around here doing something else. So um, yeah. I'll probably give you a a video on being done unloading these. I think it's just going to be me and Ryan and maybe mom tomorrow. But I'm glad it's done. We actually had to help my friend Ryan throw a couple wagon loads up into his barn. So everybody's done. And small square bales are done for the year as far as making them. We got to stack them yet. But stacking 300 plus bales, that might take an hour maybe I, I don't know so take care take it easy keep in touch yeah I'm kind of tired <laughs> so um, go ahead and hit subscribe let's see my subscribers have kind of stalled out here lately so oh you guys have been asking a lot about the the purchase I made well it's actually just outside here we had we just moved it outside so we can make room for it see it's just right over here